Right now on ABC 57's special series, Beyond the Badge, we take you behind bars at the Kosciuszko County Jail to show you what it really takes to run a facility like that. Certainly not an easy job, and as ABC 57's Brenda Coopson shows us, it is not for everyone. Responsibility that jail officers have. Um, you know, it's one of the toughest jobs here at the Sheriff's Office. I think people think that we're just here to get everybody in trouble. We are here to help people that need to be helped. It's more dangerous than people probably think. We've had our lives threatened. We've had our families threatened. It's it's not the safest place to be, but at times it, it can be uh, hectic and stressful. Do you think it's a job that anybody could do? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It takes a special person to be a jail officer. There's fights. We have to break up fights. Uh, we go back there to pass clean laundry, pick up dirty laundry. Uh, and when you have, you know, 25 or 30 guys all in a small block together, there's always something happening. So we're back and forth, you know, we deliver mail, take care of the problems. Uh, it's, it's something different every day. I mean, I've been here 19 years, and there's still, every week there's like, oh, I've never seen this happen here, you know, so. There's just, and I think a lot of the general public have no idea what we do back here. Some days are slow, some days are crazy. I mean, we we do it all. We have to do it all. Sometimes we only have four on a shift, so it can get quite stressful and difficult at times, but we all have to work together and, you know, accomplish the same goal. We are busy from the beginning of our 12-hour shift till the end. We have to take care of all the inmates. I mean, our biggest job is to protect, you know, uh, the safety and security of the jail and everyone in here. So I think the biggest misconception is they don't understand everything we do. Talking about defensive tactics, talking about um, um, handcuffing, how, how do you talk to an inmate when he screams and yells and, and how do you get this situation under control without putting hands on? Um, that's what we're, we're here to do. They're completely compliant and then they come to passive resistance. What is passive resistance? Anybody remember? No. Saying no, they're just standing there, not moving. Because when you run back there and you open the door, you don't know if it's going to be two people or ten people, or you, you don't know what you're getting into, especially when it comes to the fights. Uh, but we've, we've all had lots and lots of training. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my fingers underneath his nose and I'm going to stack my fingers. He's already feeling it, I can tell. Knowing your surroundings and uh, you know, when to call for help, when, when do I don't, but, but just talking your way out of it. That's what we're, we're training these, uh, these brave men and women to do because uh, these situations are not favorable for us on when it comes to, to numbers. Because the idea is to gain control. We don't handcuff until we have control. We're kind of like the first responder. This is kind of like a, our own little city and we're jail officers, but this is, this is where we patrol. We don't want to get people in trouble, usually. We want to help our community make it a little bit safer for everybody. Certainly not an easy job. And tonight on ABC 57 News Night Team, you'll meet some of the inmates at the Kosciuszko County Jail going through their jail chemical addiction program. The program is built around hope and um, how to take your past struggles and transform into hope. Hear from them about how the program is transforming their lives while they're behind bars and giving them a second chance once they get released.